So you have a virtual machine here. So virtual machine means it will have dot vmx, it will have dot vmdk file. and some operating system, Windows Server 2012, and business application will be running here. Say application version 3. You are planning to upgrade this application or OS, whatever it may be, any one of them. You are trying to upgrade Windows OS 2012 to 2016. Okay. During this upgrade, you have verified application version 3 will support with 2016. Okay. So you verified that, that it is supported. So then we started decided to upgrade the Windows Server 2012 to 16. During this upgrade, if there is a failure or maybe upgrade completed, but application is not working. So you have upgraded from 2012 to 2016 in place upgrade. That means in the same machine you have upgraded. Up you upgraded to version uh, 2016 and application version 3 is not working with 2016. You have already verified the compatibility. It is supposed to work, but it is not working. In that situation, if you want to go back to previous state also, we cannot go back because you already applied changes to the operating system and it is already not working. When you call Microsoft or when you call this application vendor also, they may fix, but it will take time four or five hours extra time or even one or two days extra. Depends on the problem. So there will be business outage until that problem is solved. Okay. If you have decided to go back, we have no option here. That's why there is a feature called snapshot from VMware. Before you apply any changes, you have to take snapshot. Capture the current running state of a virtual machine. So you are planning to perform some changes. Before you perform changes, you take a snapshot. When you take snapshot, when you create a snapshot, original disk vmdk will go to read only mode earlier it was read write that means you can place any new data inside this machine and if there is any data you can read also now it will go to read only that means you cannot place any new data in this hard disk when you are not able to place anything new in the hard disk what will happen to the vm it will stop working it will try to place new data here, but it is not allowing. It is read only. Okay, like that. It's fine. Then what will happen? First, it will go to read only. Then it will create three different files. What are those files? When you create a snapshot, what are the files that will be created? Vmx dot vmdk. Well, we'll take the snippet or what? Uh, what? Uh, I mean, we'll create in the VM, is it? No, while creating VM, while creating VM, VM is dot VMX dot VMDK. No, not while creating virtual machine. I'm asking when we take a snapshot, what are the files it will be created? Dot VMSD and one more thing, uh, dot VMS and something snapshot file. <coughs> Then called delta disk. Okay. Once you take a snapshot, VMSD, VMSN, and delta disk will be created. And original VMDK will go to read only. It will not accept any new data. 
earlier without snapshot you can accept it will accept new data when whatever you place inside this machine it will copy here so what will happen when you take snapshot these files will be created this will go to read only that means whatever the data that is there in the original disk you can read but you cannot place any new data then what will happen if you place something new data after snapshot that new data first it will go here it is read only then it will go to delta disk only data changes will be saved here it's something like we are copying the changes separately temporarily on a separate hard disk okay so the changes that we want to perform whatever the os upgrade we are planning right that changes will be temporarily placed on a delta disk only data changes that you make let's say after that if you are upgrading windows 2012 base os will be same all the operating system from 2012 to 26 remain same except few changes right it's not like 2016 is completely different 2012 is completely different it is from same family it will have same operating system content but some extra features will be there in 2016 that changes inside the operating system will be saved in the delta disk your original disk state is copied securely preserved its state is securely preserved and the changes you are applying on the delta disk then what will be there on the sd snapshot descriptor file it's like vmdk delta disk is like flat.vmdk flat.vmdk will have actual data so delta disk will have actual data changes that we are applying vmdk will have descriptor file metadata so vmsd will have that descriptor file snapshot descriptor file it's like vmdk versus flat.vmdk vmsd versus uh, flat uh, delta disk okay and its name will be vm name dot 5.0.1.vmdk5.0.2.vmdk then vm sn it's called snapshot state file we'll see what will it will save here inside this normally nothing will save normal snapshot when you create a snapshot nothing will be saved here we'll see there is something it will save later we'll see that okay now while upgrading this operating system all the changes are separately saved in the delta disk but these files also will be in the same data store same folder wherever you create a virtual machine dot vmx vmdk nvram all these files will be there right in the same folder will be there these files also but that will occupy extra free space from the data store like this psxi storage <coughs> excuse me we have created a virtual machine with 100 gb okay c colon 100 gb disk here there will be 1. vmdk it is 100 gb capacity and when you say take snapshot 501.vmdk that will occupy extra space so there is no relation with respect to vmdk so this is extra file it is getting created it will take the free space from the data store original 100 gb is separate it will take extra space from the data store okay when we create snapshot next all the changes will be placed on the delta disk now if you see if you log into this machine you will not see 26 24 uh, 12 it will be like 2016 only because these files are only temporary only changes are temporarily saved here rest of the machine data is here only the original data operating system data everything is here only only the changes are here let's say it has changes of 2 gb that 2 gb data only is saved inside the delta disk rest of the machine data is here only it will still communicate with the original vmdk but changes will be separately tracked on this delta disk okay. if you log into this if you power uh, log into this computer you will see 2016 operating system with application version 3 and if it is not working as per your expectation okay it is supposed to work you already verified application version 3 whatever the application that may be okay you verify that specific application works with 2016 but it is not working you try to fix it it 
is not helping. You are checking vendor websites you have checked and that also did not help. You have exceeded the timeline which given by the application owner to upgrade this 2016. We have exceeded the timeline. You are not able to fix the problem. Customer will expect you to bring this application immediately now. Okay. Now, whatever the change that we expected is failing. So then you will say that there is a problem. Then you may wait for some time or maybe you'll ask, can you revert back to old previous state? It's very emergency. Okay. Then we cannot go back to previous, normally without a snapshot, we cannot go back to previous state. We apply directly changes on the original list. In this case, we have taken a snapshot, changes are separately tracked here. So when you say it is not working fine for him, we decided to go back to previous state. We can go back to previous state now. So we'll do one thing. We cancel these changes, what we have applied. We will revert. So that means whatever the changes you applied, they will be discarded from this machine. It will run with original condition 2012 and application version 3 as it is. So it will go to read write again. The original disk will become read write again. Okay. So everything what you write inside the machine, it will go to original disk. The temporary changes which we saved here will be discarded. So we can go back to our previous current state of the VM very easily. Just one click, one minute less than a minute of time, we can go back to previous state. Clear? Yeah. Any question as of now? It will be complicated and lot, around 10 to 15 interview questions they will ask from just snapshot. Okay. So important. In day to day job also, you should be very clear what is uh, working mechanism with snapshot. We'll see. No question? If changes are not working, then we will discard the changes, go back to previous state. Okay. If changes are working good, all the new data changes will be going into the Delta disk. It will be growing based on the data changes that you place inside the machine. Let's say you have placed some 50 GB, 50 GB of data afterwards, the uh, snapshot. That 50 GB data is stored in the Delta disk. So 100 GB, this original 100 GB plus extra 50 GB it will occupy from the data store. It will fill up the data store very full, very fast. I mean. okay. So that's why we should not keep the snapshot for long time. Because once the snapshot is keep growing, the changes will be in delta disk and that will fill up the data store once upon a time, suddenly it will reach 100% usage, the VM will stop working. Okay. Suddenly it will stop working because of no free space in the data store. If you look at verify everything, then you will find open snapshot on the VM. Okay. Because of this delta disk is taking extra space from the data store, it will fill up very fast. That again depends on the data changes that we do here. Okay. How much data that you place after the snapshot, everything will be saved in the delta disk. Okay. Initially, it will create with 16 MB, then it will grow with respect to 16 MB, multiples of 16 MB based on the data that you place. It will keep growing, 16 MB, 16 MB, but I mean allocation will be, one time allocation will be 16 MB, but it will be growing based on the data. Let's say you placed 1 GB of data after the snapshot, that 1 GB will, delta GB, delta disk capacity will be 1 GB. So it's equal to changes that you make after snapshot. Okay. So if changes are working good, VMware recommendation is to wait for three days. At, and then it's up to you. You decided that everything is working good. You don't need to wait for three days. You means the application owner who has verified this application working with 2016. He has confirmed that everything is good for me. Then we can delete snapshot because it is taking extra space, right? We don't want to keep it open. What if you delete what will happen? These files will be deleted and the data, temporary data, what we have saved here will go to original disk. It will become read, write, And data will go to original VMDK now. 
now snapshot file will be deleted original vmdk will be read write so everything will be coming here it is 2016 and application was in c that's what our target we have achieved the target clear so take a snapshot perform changes if changes are not working as per your expectation revert the snapshot if you revert the changes that we applied will be discarded machine will go to previous state if changes are working good wait for three days or until application team confirmation then delete snapshot once you delete snapshot the changes will be saved to the original vmdk snapshot file will be deleted vm right click on it snapshot take snapshot enter name just okay then revert it is called take a rollback also that means cancelling the changes what we have right? discard the ch changes we made after the snapshot whatever the changes we have done okay after the snapshot will be discarded delete data changes will be saved into the original vmdk and snapshot files will be deleted in this case in revert data changes will be cancelled snapshot will be still present snapshot will be still there snapshot files will be still there but vm will be working from the original condition if you revert snapshot changes will be cancelled vm will be running if you delete snapshot original data from the temporary disk will be saved to original disk the files will be deleted yeah. You need to just remember two things, revert and delete. If you revert, whatever the changes we have made after snapshot will be cancelled, discard means cancelled. Changes will not apply to the original VM. Delete. Changes will be saved to the original disk and then files will be deleted. So when you are working with snapshot, you should be very careful. You will not be working on the changes side. You will be working with creating a snapshot, delete, revert only. The operating system change, what we are talking about here, 20, 12 to 16, or application upgrade, whatever it may be. It will be handled by Windows team or application team. We will not involve in this case. We will just help them to take a snapshot, inform them we have taken a snapshot. They will perform the changes, whatever the changes they want to do. They will perform those changes. Once the perform changes, they will verify whether everything is working fine or not. If it is working, they will confirm everything is working good. Then what we will do? Revert or delete? If changes are working good, delete. So data will be saved to original disk and files will be deleted. Right? It's just a little controversy here. Right? Delete means normally we delete something. So here we are deleting snapshot, data will be saved to the original disk. Discard or revert means cancelling the changes what we have applied here. If they say changes are not working good, then you revert the snapshot. If you revert, changes will be cancelled, it will go to previous state as it is. So you be clear, after the changes, if you are not very clear, talk to him on phone or at least chat or mail, whatever the communication method we are using. Double check. Are you sure you want to cancel the changes? Then revert. Okay. So get some like return proof from them, either email, chart, or whatever it is. Fine. Just clear. Take a snapshot, perform the changes. Changes are not working good. Revert it. Changes are working good. Delete it. That's it. Okay. It depends on the changes state of the changes whether they are fine or not and you can take multiple snapshots also you have taken one snapshot 
if you take second snapshot it will create only delta disk again okay. now whatever the changes that you make they will be applied to the second original disk this one will be again locked the changes will go to second delta disk this will be a parent disk and this will be a child snapshot parent snapshot and its child snapshot if you take another snapshot third will be created parent and its child the one level above it is called its parent and the same one is called child right so you can have maximum 32 snapshots like this as per vmware okay so we'll before we see some more interview question we'll try to create a snapshot and revert test the functionality of revert and delete while creating snapshot there is something called with memory versus without memory very very important with memory while creating a snapshot when you take with memory when you include memory the ram content ram content of the virtual machine ram means the memory the physical or uh, whatever the virtual machine ram how the instructions are executing will be saved into vm sn file normally we do without memory only okay second one without memory if you take ram content will not save when day to day job mainly we do without ram only we consider with ram so the virtual machine ram whatever 8 gb 2 gb 4 gb whatever you have allocated how the ram is executing right now ram content also will be stored in snapshot file okay then we'll see if the memory has also, also included in the snapshot if you revert let's say like without memory will take memory is not included okay memory is not included while taking snapshot you have taken without memory and you perform the changes changes are not working good then you revert if you revert changes will be cancelled vm also will power off changes will be cancelled vm will power off you have to manually power on the vm if it is without memory okay. if you revert snapshot which was taken without memory the vm the changes will be cancelled or discarded and vm will be powered off you have to manually power on again okay if it is with memory vm will be running if you include memory if you revert the snapshot changes will be discarded on the fly when the vm is running itself changes will be discarded vm will be up and running only you can go back to previous state start use already it went to previous state you can start using from here again vm will be running only if you include memory without memory if you take a snapshot the changes will be discarded vm will power off you have to power on to go back to that state you have to manually power on that is the only the difference vm will power off if there is snapshot without memory was taken and if you reverted that snapshot and in case of delete everything is same like even if it is running or powered up whatever it will be running only if you delete a snapshot vm will be in the same power state you will test it you will come to know that 
So before you perform any changes, if you take a snapshot, we have an option to go back to previous day. So if you don't take snapshot and all, let's say you are not working on any snapshot right now. You are uploading Windows Server 2012 to 2016. Okay, and after upgrade, this will be removed and only 2016 will be there. This application is supposed to work with 2016, but it is not working. You try to fix it. It is not fixed even after three hours, four hours. The customer is asking you to bring this application, but you are not able to fix it. The problem. Okay, business outage will be there. It's like you're preserving your old state and if needed, go back to previous state. That is the advantage. You can go back to previous state easily. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, Snapchat is only for virtual machines, not for ESXi. Okay, it's only for VM level feature. Advantage of snapshot is we can go back to previous state if needed. So we are tracking temporary changes separately. And if needed, we can go back to previous state. Cloning, let's say there is a two terabyte virtual machine or whatever it may be, any any big small VM or big VM. Okay. If you are doing a cloning, a complete virtual machine will be created. This is very common interview question. What is the difference between cloning and template. There are two virtual machines, okay, V1 and V2. V1 and V2. If you make a clone of this V1, it will exactly copy paste into another virtual machine. Now, you can use this machine and you can use this machine also. You have cloned it and you have upgraded to, let's say Windows Server 2012, that also you can do. But what if it is one terabyte virtual machine? Cloning will occupy extra one terabyte space and it cloning itself will take three, four hours. Okay. Sometimes like these kind of changes, few people will do cloning also. Instead of snapshot, they will do cloning also. But technically, if you see, you don't need to do cloning just for keeping the temporary changes. You're thinking that what if changes are not going well, if you want to go back to previous state. In this case, if you directly upgrade from 2012 to 16, it is not working good. You will, uh, 12, this is 12. You will delete this machine and you will start using it. That is also same thing. But you are copying extra one terabyte and that is taking three, four hours of time. You can use that one also. But technically, we don't need to do that long procedure. I mean, it's okay. So in this snapshot, we are keeping only the temperature. We are creating a delta disk in the same machine folder. We are not creating extra machine. Along with its virtual machine VMDK file, we are creating one temporary VMDK. And changes we are placing in the temporary disk. It's in the same machine. It's in the same machine, changes we are tracking separately. If you are technically aware of what is cloning and what is snapshot, for these scenarios, if you want to apply some changes to the OS and you feel that is critical thing and you may feel you may need to go back to previous state, snapshot is enough. Cloning is also fine, but it is unnecessary thing. You are copying like one terabyte extra space you are copying and three to four hours of extra time you are doing, but technically, this is enough, right? That's the main difference. So cloning completely it makes another copy of virtual machine. Okay, and template in the same machine, we track the changes in a delta disk, temporary delta disk. Okay, we have taken a snapshot with memory and you revert, VM will be running, the cha changes will be discarded on the live. When the VM is running itself, changes will be discarded. And without memory, if you revert, VM will power off, changes will be cancelled or discarded. But VM will be powered off, you have to manually power off. When it is possible to discard the changes, when the VM is running itself, that means with memory only is better, right? VM is running, you are discarding the changes. 
okay why you need to power up and power on again that will take extra time to boot up right then what is the advantage of having without memory with memory itself and why they have developed one more feature called without memory and we are taking extra time to discard the changes and boot up again there is a technical reason right let's say you applied some changes to the operating system and you are planning to discard them so you don't want to use them okay so when you don't want to apply the changes that you made which is very on the very critical portion operating system core side very critical part of the operating system if you discard on the fly right it's not that efficient when the vm is running itself you are trying to delete some os files and you don't know what is the impact on application right right application may be using that file you are trying to remove that file application may crash sometime okay if sensitive application that will crash again to, to fix that problem it will take 3 4 hours extra for you kind of like creating unnecessary extra problem extra complexity we will be adding when you remove on the fly if it is a simple application that's fine if it is a sensitive application when it is running itself you are trying to remove some os files base files itself your virtual machines are running you are trying to delete something in the esxi operating system we don't know right where is link run where which part if you try to delete esxi what will happen to the thing same thing here we are trying to delete west operating system windows server 2016 files we are trying to remove and applications are already using it we don't know how it behaves right it is safe to cancel the changes clean do a reboot that's why without memory option is preferred in day to day job clear why we have two options okay some sensitive applications are maybe business critical applications you don't want to go down even if you want to discard you don't want to go down you can take that risk of with memory and do that okay but it will be complex we may enter into complex situation that's why everybody prefers without memory right when you feel like it will critical change definitely we do it in a service window service window means whenever the machine is not used either off business hours or saturday sunday or whenever there is no production on that server kind of thing at least whatever the application that is using there will be some gap in a week or in a month at least there will be some duration where there will be no production happening so in that time they will use it understood shall we test it now we need a windows machine say this is a windows machine <coughs> and the desktop it is clear now i want to perform some changes here i want to create some data on the desktop i feel that is critical change i want i want to place some new data on the machine so before i perform changes i'll go to snapshot take snapshot i will include memory this time okay snapshot the virtual machine memory as well i'm including memory with the memory i'm taking if you leave this checkbox open that uh, selected means with memory you are taking a snapshot So creating virtual machine snapshot. Now it will be including its RAM also. That's why it will take time. How much RAM it is? Watch it. It will take some time to include the memory as well. If you see the data store, browse files, DC. Okay. There are files. It will be creating VMSN as well. VMSN is growing now. You can see one eight eight six KB. Right after some time, it will increase again.
and delta yeah. disk you can see this is original disk here dc.pmdk one of one of the hard disk now delta disk is also creating so five zeros one dot vmdk okay just creating and vmsd will be there by the time when you create a virtual machine itself Wait for the snapshot to complete. Right click, snapshot, take snapshot. Okay, now we go to main snapshot and see it is still taking, so it will show snapshot there. So what is snapshot, how it works in the back end, what will happen with if you include memory in the snapshot. If you revert snapshot, which was taken with memory, what will be the state of VM? If you revert a VM without memory, what will happen? If you delete a snapshot, what will happen? How many maximum snapshot can you take on a VM? What is the recommended time to keep the snapshot on a VM? Now snapshot is taken with memory is completed. So right click snapshot. If revert snapshot is enabled, that means there is snapshot already. Okay, or I can directly go to main a snapshot. So there is a snapshot taken. It was earlier. The you are here pointer was before the, the snapshot earlier, like it was here. Now there is a snapshot. Okay, you are here pointer is running on top of snapshot. That means the VM is running with the snapshot. Here, if you, if you select that snapshot here, you can see when it was created, whether memory was included or not, quiescing is selected or not. We will discuss what is this quiescing. Okay. So the options, you can see when it was created, with memory or without memory it was taken. Okay. Now, I have taken, I have taken a snapshot. So right click, new folder. I'm creating some folder inside that I'll place some data. Let it be just do it. I'm placing some data, whatever it may be. Okay? So I place some new data folder here. Just have created a folder because it's visible for you to understand snapshot easily. So this is also change only data change, right? We made some data changes inside this computer. We created a folder and created a file, placed some data inside that file. So we made some data changes after the snapshot. Now we'll test revert functionality. We have taken snapshot with memory and we are trying to revert it. So what will be the state of VM, power state of VM? With memory and you are reverting it. So state of the VM will be running. The power down only. Running. running. Yes, so it should be power down and running only. So right click, snapshot, click to revert to latest snapshot. You can click here or you can go to snapshot, select here, revert to also you can select. Okay, reverted to anything is same. Right click, snapshot, 
revert to later snapshot. Yes. It's completed. Most. Okay, it's completed. Console is closed, but we can VM is still powered on only here. If you see, go to summary tab or you can open the console again. VM is running, the folder is missing. Okay, VM is still powering powered on only. Order, but we lost the changes, whatever the changes we have made here are lost. So is it clear now? Snapshot with memory and revert functionality. We tested it. Clear? Any questions from remote? And snapshot file will be still there. The virtual machine will be still running with the snapshot. You want to? Now you can delete without performing any changes. You delete it if you want to remove this file. Snapshot if you want to delete it, just file. It. Because there are no changes now. If you delete also, nothing will happen. Fine. Now there is no snapshot on the VM. Many snapshot, no snapshot. On the desktop, it's clean again as it was before. Now, with memory, we have tested the revert functionality. Now, we will, before performing changes, I'll create a snapshot without memory this time. Without memory, I'm taking. It will be quick, it will not take that time because memory is not included, right? So now if you go before changes without memory, memory was not included, no here, okay? Now go to this computer, do changes again. Test SS1. Okay. We have made some data changes now, we created a folder and without memory I am taking, so without memory I have taken. So right click, snapshot, if I do revert, you tell me what will happen, VM will be running or down? No, but what about the folder? Folder will be deleted or still will be there? Okay, I'll, that will take any anyway, discarded. Time. The changes yes. will be discarded. Yes, so revert to latest snapshot. Click on that. Yes. Okay, revert is completed. The C the virtual machine is powered off. If you go to snapshot, so snapshot is reverted now, but VM is. Power off. You need to manually power on. Power on again. So now you tell me, folder should be there or it should be removed? We have performed revert, right? Revert option without memory. Revert folder this will one. be there, sir. It will be there. We will test it once it is up. We did revert option, it doesn't matter with memory or without memory. Revert means data changes will be cancelled. Just the power state of the machine is varying with memory and without memory, not the changes. There is no change in this cancellation. 
revert means the snapshot was taken with memory or without memory it doesn't matter revert means the changes will be cancelled that means the folder should be missing now cancel means it should not be present on our desktop yeah data will be cancelled the folder should be missing So it, it did a clean reboot because we made some changes to OS, whatever it is, right? After five changes we have made. So we want a clean boot after making the changes. So it we rebooted. Without memory, it went down and then coming up. See, folder is not there. Okay? And it should not be there also. So we, we did a revert. So we just tested the revert functionality in both the condition with memory and without memory also. Okay. I'll remove that file again. Snapshot file will be still there. If you revert, snapshot file will be still there. If you start using that machine, it will be copying after snapshot only again. It's like taking a snapshot, working on them again. Okay. I'll remove that file, temporary snapshot files. Okay, now there is no snapshot. If you go to main snapshot, nothing is there. Okay, on the desktop, nothing is there. I'll do a test without. I'll create a snapshot now. With memory or without memory, it doesn't matter. I'll leave the name also as it is. I wanted to do a delete function, test for delete functionality. I've, I've taken a snapshot. After that, I'm making changes. So just for visibility, I'm creating a folder and file here, okay? So that you can understand the changes are discarded. So, and in this case, I'm going to delete now. I want to perform delete operation snapshot you can do delete all here itself or go to many snapshot select a particular snapshot delete all or delete one also is fine if there are multiple snapshot then there is a difference between delete and run delete if there is only one snapshot if you delete or delete all it's nothing it's just same thing okay. it is removing snapshot done Go to this machine, folder is still there. Data changes are still present. Snapshot file is deleted, but the data is still there. Snapshot file is missing. Okay, it's deleted. Changes are still present. That's what we wanted. We want the changes to be presented and the rest of the things, files, snapshot files should be deleted. Clear? Any confusion, questions here? So it is not recommended to have too many snapshots on a virtual machine and longer snapshots also. You should not leave the snapshot for a long time. max 32 snapshots on a single vm max vmware recommends daily a snapshot after 72 hours which is three days after seven to two, after three days, within three days, you have time to decide whether you want changes or not. Even after three days, changes are working good, then fine, all is fine. Okay, so delete the snapshot. And it's up to you. Few companies will wait for one week. Few companies will, once the application team confirms, delete them immediately. Okay, few companies will wait for 10 days. It depends on them. But VMware recommendation is three days is enough. 
if changes are working good for continuously three days that means everything went well so delete the snapshot and maximum 32 snapshots on a single vm we can take fine and that's what when before you perform some critical changes take a snapshot original disk will go to read only mode temporary delta disk will be created if you apply any changes those changes will go to temporary delta disk okay and if the changes are not working good you can revert if changes are working good delete that you need to wait for the respective person who has performed the changes that person should confirm in our case application team should confirm application is ever working good then you can delete maximum 32 VMware recommendation is 72 hours to keep a snapshot and with memory and without memory. And there is one thing called quiescing you noticed while creating a snapshot. No one asked, very few interviewers will ask what is this quiescing? Okay. This is also another question, quiescing. If you are creating a snapshot with quiescence, the guest PM, the guest OS file system will be halted and snapshot will be captured. When you take a snapshot, if you enable quiescence, the entire version file system that vmdk original file system will halt will halt means it will not accept any read and writes okay if you are not if the, the application will stop for a while very minute amount of time the guest file system will be halted it will not take, accept any new operations and snapshot will be captured then after that it will work again very rare situations we do this okay we don't use it regularly 99% cases we don't use it. Some sensitive application which you don't want to miss even any uh, single instruction on a virtual machine and capture the snapshot, we do that. With quiescing, we do that. The guest OS file system will be halted and a snapshot will be captured. That means everything what you take after snapshot will be there in the delta disk. But without quiescing, if you do, there is a possibility that few instructions we may miss. Here and there, okay. while taking the very might in, in terms of milliseconds. milliseconds. Okay, so that's why normally nobody will pray for it. If needed, we can do that. That's about snapshot. Any question? No, if you reach 32 snapshot, it that means the virtual machine has a lot of snapshot, right? You can, uh, it will be it's very slow. The VM performance will be very slow. So delete all the snapshot you can take from one. It's not possible to take any more snapshot on the on top of it. Yeah, that's what I said. Memory instructions are not copied. So the VM will be power up. It will not come to know what is the status it was before. When you are taking snapshot, you are not including memory means power state of the VM will not be considered. So when you revert, it will power up the VM to start fresh again. To clean power on with the removed OS files, it will try to power up OS or application, whatever. 